Hey you guys, welcome back to Christine's World Spice. So today what's on the menu is chicken Mexican pizza. Now I did make my own red sauce. If you want to know how I make it, you can actually check out the description box below and I have the ingredients and everything you need for it. Just put it in a blender and blend it up for three to five minutes. Or you can actually go to the store and buy the Taco Bell red sauce that you put on enchiladas. You can use that as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. You don't really need the bell peppers, but I pretty much put bell peppers in almost everything I cook. I just love the flavor of it. So I will be cutting these really small and finely because they're gonna go inside the chicken while it cooks. Next, you'll need to cut one thing of green onions if you're just feeding probably a family of four to eight, because this pretty much feeds about eight people the most. I have a bush of cilantro that I rinsed off in cold water and I added two thirds of apple cider vinegar to it. What this does is actually cleanse the impurities of the cilantro. Any kind of bugs, eggs and all that, that's what apple cider pretty much cleans it for you. So let's cut our cilantro up really finely. Of course you can't go without tomatoes on your Mexican pizza, unless you're the type of person you just can't eat tomatoes. You can actually replace the tomatoes with a red bell pepper and it still looks the same. Just cut it just like you will cut a tomato or how I'm cutting my tomatoes now. So yeah, you can always substitute the tomatoes if you do not like them. So I got these chicken tenders from one of our stores out here um, called Save-A-Lot and they have a pick five. So I pretty much stocked up on a lot of their chicken tenders. So you might see a lot of videos of this upcoming week of chicken tenderloins. So all I'm doing is cutting them really small because you don't want them really chunky because then your top of your tortilla will not like lay down and it'll just, just look like a whole, whole Oh mess y'all it'll look really bad so cut them up really small now this is all I had in my cabinet some coconut oil I was really wouldn't use that probably some olive oil if you have that but we'll just stick with this be sure you put your stove on medium-high and you can also achieve this in an air fryer You'll just cook it on 400 degrees for one minute. So on this, you just need to flip it every one minute or you can flip it every 30 seconds. So I added about two tablespoons of canola oil to a medium high skillet. This is my cast iron skillet and I'm just gonna add my bell peppers to it and stir them. There's no particular time when you need to add your chicken. You can add your chicken first, or you can add it afterwards. So it doesn't really matter when you add your chicken.
you'll need to add a half a tablespoon of cumin Then add one tablespoon of garlic powder. Okay, y'all, so don't laugh at this. Oh, Why I thought this was a small little strainer. I did not know this was like for something to like steam your vegetables in or steam food in. You know, it kind of makes sense though now, but I don't have one of those fine mesh strainers to strain this. So I'm not gonna do that that way. I'm actually do it this way and just make use of this that I have now. Since these little holes are much smaller than your average strainer. So what I'm going to do is strain whatever it is that I can out, up out of there because it's too thick. And if you ever made your own salsa using these peppers, you will completely understand where I'm coming from or what I'm talking about because you definitely want to get all that out or it's not going to make your meat taste that great. So I'm going to keep stirring my food up and now I'm going to add some of the sauce to it as well. Um, it's going to go in our sauce and on top of our Mexican pizza too. I thought I was recording on the next scene, but I wasn't. When your chicken is already done, what you will need to do is get preferably a cast iron skillet, spray it with some olive oil, Put your tortilla that we had already cooked into the pan, add your refry beans, then add your chicken, and then you will add some of the red sauce on top of the chicken. And then the rest, I can finish showing you what I'm doing next. So once you put the next tortilla on top, you just follow the directions, put it in the oven on 400 for about five minutes. Okay, so five minutes has passed and this is what our Mexican pizza looks like. If your Mexican pizza seems like it can stay in the oven for a little bit longer, go ahead and do that, but just check on it every one to two minutes. That way you don't overcook. I'll be adding my sour cream, cilantro, and green onions on top, and I might sprinkle a little bit of tomatoes as well.
And that is it for this easy recipe, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and maybe try it out. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe today. I really appreciate it. And I thank you for watching. Love you guys and have a wonderful weekend.